Well, without some help, an animal shelter in Attica will be forced to euthanize some animals. News 18's Elizabeth Rinchler reports that vets say the decision had to be made. What would you do if you had one month to live? Midnight can only sit in his cage and hope someone falls in love with him enough to make him their own. Until then, his time is ticking. 36 days left. He's very friendly. He's a great dog. He just requires a lot of space and a lot of energy. I mean, he, he's great with kids. He's great with, with my kids. He's great with our family. Dr. Tracy Sudlow is a volunteer veterinarian at the Attica Paws and Claws Animal Shelter. She says the shelter receives a yearly budget from the county this year about $20,000, enough money to care for about 300 animals for the year. As of now, they've already taken in about 500. We've well surpassed what we thought we were going to anticipate for the entire year, and it's only October, so that's why we're going to have to make some, some pretty difficult changes. On October 2nd, the Paws and Claws board decided effective immediately they would have to start euthanizing animals who had been at the shelter for 45 days. Dr. Sudlow says some animals, like Midnight, have been at the shelter for months. She says they are giving them a clean slate, which means Midnight and others get a second chance. But that chance only lasts 45 days. It's nothing anybody wants to do because we're down here all the time. I mean, we, it's a small group of us and um, we become very attached to these animals. I have two children and they're down here walking these dogs and taking care of them. You know, how do you explain to a, a six-year-old that, you know, her favorite dog's no longer gonna be here? I mean, you, you can't, it's just, you just can't. It's going to be hard. Dr. Sudlow says if for whatever reason you are unable to adopt, they are always accepting donations. She says they are always in need of dog food and cat litter, and your donations can help save the lives of little guys like him. Reporting in Attica, Elizabeth Rentschler, News 18.